Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey, it's Grandpa and Grandma, and we are getting ready to show you how to edit your texture pack. So, um, Grandma, say goodbye because this is not Bye. for you. This is not for me. This is underneath Grandma's pay grade. Oh, okay. It's Gotta go over ahead. my pay grade, but under hers. Love you guys. <laughs> no, you can stick around if you want, honey. <laughs> but, uh, um, guys, here we go. What we're going to do, first off, I want to tell you that we are currently in 1.13.2. So part of the texture packs, um, editing and modifying doesn't work real good because somehow throughout the web and, and throughout different games and, and different servers, not everything is hooked up right like it should be. But if you take and roll your game back to 1.13.1, .1, which I have done for this, the start of this video, and I've rolled back my server to 1.13.1, .1, so that 1.13.1 .1 is together on our game and on our server, then this texture pack modifying works perfect. And let's go ahead and get started. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. I'm bringing up Minecraft and let me show you the first the first screen. This is Mindscreen's engine and this is at mindscreen.net. But from this point on, once I click play, it goes into our minecraft.net on our computer, not .net, into our Minecraft files. And so that's why from this point on, you can modify it to look however you want. Now, this next screen that pops up is modified. I'm going to show you how to do this. And then I'm going to show you how to do blocks and, and other textures. So this is not the one that you guys saw the other day. This is one that I was playing with the other night. A much simpler one, much easier one to, to build. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Now you see I've modified this too. I'm going to show you how to modify all this. And then as we get in, um, options, resource packs, that's where everything's at. You guys know that. So as you can see, I've modified this background here too. And uh, I can show you how to do that too. So done, um, done. So we're back in the game. I'm going to just start the game up real quick and show you a few things about it. I have um, brought a few things in from different texture packs and I want to show you that. Um, if you'll take a look at my... My graphics are slow here. Wait till it all loads up. Okay, it's all loaded. Uh, my cobblestone stone is now a different texture. I like it a lot better. And I haven't modified my grass yet, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, if you go downstairs, you'll see that my glass is different too. And I really, really like that. Now all of this cobblestone, we can modify that. There's a better cobblestone out there that I like a lot better than this. And I may go to that too. And this granite, there's a better granite out there too. We'll take a look at all that. But here's the glass that I really, really like. There's some other torches I really like too in uh, Legacy. But um, I tried loading it and it doesn't load right. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get back in my safety room and let's get to get to doing some stuff here so let me uh, stop here go back into options and load up a couple other resource packs here what I like is the grass I think in modern I think it's modern so I'm gonna load up the grass in modern and I'm gonna show you how to but I want to make sure it's the right grass here Okay, back to game. You can see this uh, This modern has the glass that I like. I don't like the torches. I think they're kind of funky looking. And see here, look at this cobblestone. I like this a lot better. I may load up that for cobblestone. See, I like that grass a lot better. So I'm going to load up that grass. So I'm going to go into those files. And I have them all here. What I did was, you know that resource pack? Um, file that you go to when you're in the game and you hit options in a resource pack. I made a shortcut to that resource pack and put it on my desktop. And uh, I'll show you how I did that right now. In fact, let me just go there. 
um, when you go into percent uh, app data percent you go in and find it that way or um, if you start up your Minecraft like this click on launch options and the version that you're that you're working on and click on that little green arrow it should have the path the file path that goes to your uh, files or your folder in my for Minecraft where your texture and your assets and all your stuff is and what I did was I just clicked on that like that highlighted it then I right clicked on that then I I copied it and then I went to my desktop and I right clicked on my desktop here let me get rid of this stuff so it looks a little easier then I right clicked on my desktop in an empty area and then I click on new shortcut and then I just paste that shortcut in and uh, then it says next and let's just call it uh, Minecraft yeah Minecraft uh, dot Minecraft uh, folder and finish <clears throat> and there you have that folder which is the same thing as that and when you click on it now it goes right to your Minecraft folder where your resource pack is so that's how I did that and that's exactly what this is right here so I'm gonna get rid of that okay so now um, if I go to my Minecraft folder and click on resource packs that's where everybody's resource pack is and right now I'm using DL pack so I'm gonna open that up and put that over there and then I want to open up another folder however you guys can open another folder um, I usually just click on a, an existing folder on my desktop and then I go find what I I'm looking for in fact I can even copy this shortcut here and paste up here and it takes me to the same one so what I want to do is now I have DL pack open and I want to open up one of the other guys um, texture packs and why isn't it open here okay resource pack okay I open modern I double click on it double click on assets double click on Minecraft double click on textures and here's all my textures ready to modify and so I'm gonna I want to go in and get the grass I really like the grass so I open it up I go up here and I in a search bar I type grass and there it goes it comes up before I copy this stuff over I want to go into the glass file or grass file so I'm just going down to my G's or I can type it up here and find it that way what I want to do is I want to save this because I may want to go back to it so I'm going to put a one and an underscore there and then over here I'm going to do the same thing and that's so that I can preserve these files see the computer when it's trying to look up your grass files it's looking specifically for grass and then whatever the specific grass block is but if you put a one in front of it your computer won't see that and it will disregard that so you'll have your original file in there in case you want to go back and use it okay so now I'm say that's all my grass original grass files and they're all saved so I'm gonna click on these I'm gonna use I'm gonna click on the first one and hold my shift key down to grass path top and I don't care about these two I, I don't care about tall grass um, I'll just leave the regular files in for that for now so I've blocked, I've, I've clicked on those. Um, I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to come over in an area that's not populated, right in between a folder. 
and I'm going to right click and I'm going to put paste. And here you can see it's putting all my graphs back in from, from this modern um, texture pack. Now the other thing that, that I liked, I cobblestone. So let's see if we can find the cobblestone here. So in the modern texture pack, I'm going to look for cobblestone. And there it is right there. And then over here, I'm going to look for cobblestone in the C area. And there's cobblestone there. So I'm going to rename it. And I simply just click on, on the, the name of it. I click on it once, then I click on it again. And that makes it editable. So then I put a one and an underscore in. Okay, and that moves it. And what it's doing is it's moving them all up here to the top. Okay. So now I'm gonna take and uh, I'm gonna take and copy this cobblestone in the modern texture pack. And I'm gonna go over here in an area in between files, click on it, and then I'm gonna paste it. And there you can see I've got the new cobblestone. Okay, so that's how um, that's how you copy files from uh, texture packs from the the uh, block area of texture packs over to the other um, to another texture pack. See these blocks right here. Now let's go in and find a block and modify it. Oh, you know what? Let's take and put our initials in the glass. How about that? So I'm going to right click on glass, the file, and I'm going to open with, I'm going to open with paint.net. First thing I want to do is I want to hit my uh, control A. Now make the ants start uh, march around the, the edges. And then I want to hit delete. And that's going to make sure everything is, is transparent. Now what I want to do is I want to put my initials in it. So before we do anything, um, you, can, you can increase the size of this by hitting control uh, and your plus but you can also do it by clicking on view and zooming in and you do it as many times as you want to make it as large as you want now I'm going to choose the font that I want I like Calibri but I like Cambria too so I'm going to use Cambria and I probably want this around 8 then I'm going to go down in the very bottom right corner and I'm going to click in an area where I want my text to be and I'm going to just put in DL for diamond lover okay now when I'm done with that I just want to go back up to where it says file and I want to just hit save not save as just save and then I want to hit OK okay and then you should be able to just close that up and then what I do is I click on a refresh right there and you can see the glass pane shows DL in it right here. But let's go see if it's in the game. That's what's going to be cool. So I'm going to close that file up. And I'm going to open up Minecraft. And then I'm going to hit play. Okay, so I'm going to hit options. Resource pack. And I'm going to put mine back on top. DL pack. Click on done. Okay, it's back up now. It's done, and let's get into the game. You can see my pack is back up now. So let's get into the game and see what our changes look like. Okay, so I do have my, my stone. Let's see what the cobblestone looks like. Yeah, see now my cobblestone looks different. It looks really cool. I really like that. Oh, and let's go see what the oh yeah, let's see what the grass looks like first. Okay, so I do have the new grass. I like that a lot better. I think it just looks more like grass than the than the standard default grass. And then let's just go down and check out the glass and see what it looks like. 
Okay, so the glass looks cool and it has DL. Oh, that's cool. What I did was I made everything transparent, even the frame. So that's pretty cool, man. It's got DL in it. Okay, so that's what you can do with your glass. And, um, and like I said, you can put initials in. In fact, you know what? I think when my... Um, yeah, what box is it? Um, maybe it's the crafting table. Yeah. When, see what I did in a crafting table? I took and put these black squares in. Put black lines around stuff. See how I defined it? Looks kind of cool. Maybe not. That could be a little little too jammed up for you. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Like puts a frame on it or something. But I did that. I'll show you how to do that too. So, okay. let's Let me go in my safety room here so Mob doesn't get me. Just got to figure out how to get into this glass. It's too clear now. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of the game again. And we'll get back into the texture pack because I want to show you a few other things here. Now I want to show you that background, how I did that background. And then I want to show you how I did the, um, the background that you see the first time. And um, let's see, let me get into the folder. And uh, which folder is this Minecraft? Okay, I want to get into resource packs. DL, assets, Minecraft. And let me show you this. Guys, you know when, when the game comes up and you see... Um, it, the game comes up and you see the the uh, the beginning. No, this is the end. Um, sometimes at the end you'll see a rolling text kind of. You can modify it here. I think I showed you how to in the other video. But you can modify it by uh, taking everything between this one, that symbol, and this symbol. And putting in your verbiage, whatever you want to put in. But whatever you do, don't take these things out because they separate each line and make everything uh, go right when it comes up. But the splash, remember the, the, the splash? Let me show you. This right here, the yellow that's throbbing kind of, kind of pulsating, that's what this is right here. So you can change this splash to anything you want. I have mine say youtube.com gmg minecraft but you guys can put in whatever you want for this splash right here okay okay so now let's get on to something else now if you want to go into your um, textures and click on entity no it's not entity uh, click on environment this is where you can change the sun when you do this be sure you look very carefully at the background the background for the moons if you want to make your own moon if you want to make your own clouds if you want to whatever you want to do make sure you look at the background very carefully in this case this is a sun that's up during the day but the background is black so obviously they've done something with a black background to make it look bright during the day and um it's probably like using the green screen effect and graphics for movies and stuff but anyway so we're going to see if we can recreate that so let's bring up paint.net um i'm going to make this background black just like just like it showed if i can figure out how to there's the colors oh that's where it's at right up there that's where you get your colors okay so black is the primary color so i'm going to use that i'm going to click on my paint bucket and the background is now black before i make the sun i want to make this whole canvas smaller so i'm going to go into edit no going into image resize and i'm going to make the whole image 128 by 128 just like we've been doing for everything else okay so now it's small 
and we should be able to just save it and it go right into everything just like we want it to so let's pick a color for our sun um i don't know we can pick orange we can pick yellow um i want it real close to white maybe a little offset yellow yeah a little offset yellow like that and then i want to take my pencil no maybe a brush yeah a brush let's see what it does in the middle i don't know paint uh paint.net yet so okay so that's how you make it larger right there okay so this is going to be my son a little cockeyed okay and i'm going to see if i can paint a happy face on it so brush width i want to knock it back down to where it was before maybe six and um i want to click on black and see if I can put a happy face in there. Okay, that's my happy face. That's my son. Looks kind of like a panda, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to hit File, and I'm going to hit Save. And it's putting it on the desktop. And that's good enough for me. I'll leave it untitled because it's just an example anyway. Click on OK saving so i should have it on my desktop somewhere there it is and so i'm going to just take and drag this over here click on the title and i'm just going to call it sun and the files um the executive should see or executable should see sun and um use it in fact i don't want it capitalized just a small small cap sun okay now let's go back into the game Oh, and you know what? Let's go to Google Sun image. Okay. So here's a bunch of images for the sun. Hey, I like that right there. Okay, I'm going to go into that one. And I'm going to right click on it. Copy image. And then I'm going to go back to my um, desktop. And paste it on my desktop. Then I'm going to open it with PaintNet. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to take and uh, see if I can make the background black on it. So I'm going to put black in my bucket. Okay, that's cool. Wow, that looks really cool. Now let's take and uh, reduce the image to 128 by 128. Okay. Then I want to take this bottom stuff off here. So let me, let me see if I can figure out how to take that off. Um, cropping tool. and then hit delete okay and see if i can fill that transparency in with black down there okay so now we've got that and let's save that on the desktop also save as sun and we'll just take the numbers out except for two and it's a jpeg so we want to save that as a png which is right there so select png from this drop down right here and save it okay and then hit okay okay so now all of that's on our desktop so go ahead and, and close all that um and this shows the sun the happy face sun so let's close that real quick and let's go into the game and see what it looks like
Okay, so let's go outside and see what the sun looks like. If I can find my way out. Looks like it's raining again. Nighttime, so let's set it to day. Okay, so the sun's just coming up, and oops, somehow my, oh, okay, my happy face came up upside down, but see, when it gets over there, on the other side, it'll be the right side up. So, that's my happy face, uh, that's my happy face sun. So, you can see that works. Now, um, let's get out of the game and put the other sun in, see how that works. And we probably don't have to get all the way out of the game, but um, I don't know. Um, what am I looking for? Resource pack, DL pack, assets, Minecraft, um, texture, uh, environment, sun. So let's go ahead and delete that. And then this one here. Let's rename it before we put it in. Let's just take the two and the dash out. Call it sun. We saved it as a PNG, so it should fire right up for us. Okay, so let's go back in the game and see what we got there. Okay, guys, so there you can see the sun that we put in. But... Um, it doesn't have the color that we um, originally had on it. So, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, a lot of stuff, when you put it in your texture pack, comes out white and, and without the color that you originally used. So, but you can see that main part of the image, the the uh, little little parts that go out, the little what do you call those little star things that go out, um, legs feet, hands, I don't know, tentacles, <laughs> they're all there. So it's just a matter of the color not being the, the same color that we originally had on the image. But you can see that, yeah, you can take and go to the web and get an image and put on there and um, use it for uh, your graphics in your game. So guys, next thing we want to look at real quick is um, how to edit some of those um screenshots or the not the screenshots but the beginning screens when we first come in so let's take a look at see what we got there resource packs dl pack assets minecraft textures click on textures and then um i think it's in gui yeah go to your gui oh by the way your containers Look at this, guys. I wanted to show you that. I showed you my uh, my crafting table. Here's my crafting table. See all the, the stuff I put in, the black squares I put in? You can edit those and, and take those out. Okay, so I'm going to save that and save again. Okay, and get rid of that. Um, but uh, go into your GUI and um, click on title. Oh, by the way, remember that background that I have that is a bunch of small squares that say a, di a diamond lever? Um, diamond lovers mojang well this is it but the background it takes a hundred of these 
and makes them real small to create a big uh, background full of these little things. But that's how you do that. That's what you do in, for that background. You can also make it rock. You can take a picture of any of the rock stuff in your uh, files and you can put it, put it here and um, just use it for your background. But that's, that's how I made that background. I just took and, and put some text in this and saved it and that was it. But I did this in um, GIMP, guys. I did it in GIMP. I didn't do it in paint.net. I did it in GIMP. So here again is the um, Mojang stuff that I had done. Now, this, um, this is what's up there currently now. But I'm going to deselect this. And I'm going to put in 2 underscore. And then I'm going to take this out. Or I'm going to take and change this name back to just Mojang. So this is the one that will show up now. And um, you guys can do any kind of background like that you want. And this is where you do it at. You just take and go into textures, GUI, title, and look in here. And you just take and modify these any way that you want. Again, I opened mine. I did mine with, with GIMP because I love GIMP. I And it it's just easier for me to use. But you can open it with Paint.net and just create. You know how I said to do the background. You just take and click on the bucket. Click on the color and up here's where you get the color right there. Click on the bat black and make it a black background. And then um, you can use white text. You can use any kind of symbols you want. to. You can create your own or you can paste them in. Just however you want to do it. You can create this any way that you want. It can be something that you design or something that someone else has designed and you have just um, used for your image. So that's how you do that. And um, let me just show you how to do one. And that would be uh, that would be the best thing. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. But I'm going <clears> to <throat> open GIMP. <clears throat> and um, I really, I highly recommend you guys learning how to use GIMP. And I don't know why it's not on my board. It should be out in the open, but I'll just open it this way. And you can see this is the sun that I had done. Um, let me do a new one here. And guys, when you look over here, look at these symbols. These things look just like GIMP, don't they? Or like uh, paint.net. Uh, so a lot of this stuff, a lot of paint.net comes from GIMP. In fact, when I was loading it, I was reading some articles on it. And um, it said that it was based on GIMP. So if you guys can learn paint.net real well, then you guys can learn uh, GIMP and make it uh, make it really, uh, really nice. So um, I'm going to take and uh, use this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what size those images are, but maybe they are 128. Maybe that, that front one's 128. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, let's go to home. Let me blow this up and resize pixels. 256. Okay, so the the stuff that, that shows up when you're first coming in to the game is 256 um, bits. So um, I've opened up GIMP, and I'm going to, uh, let me make a new, and I'm going to do 256 by 256. And I'm going to use the background. I'm going to make it like a blue or something. Let me find the, the colors here. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah, brighter blue. Okay, and I'm going to pick that bucket. There's that. And then let's uh, let's get some some text. And let's say uh, let's make it red. Yeah, let's make it red. And then I'm going to just simply click where I want it. And again, I'm going to pick red. 
and I think probably about 30 for the font and I'm gonna make this sans bold and, okay and let's start typing to see what it does Mojang okay and I'm going to oops <coughs> and I'm going to make it a little bit larger see if I can highlight these things and I'm just going to make it as large as the edge of the screen and then up here above it oh and I I have a special thing called script through it's a add-on to GIMP where I can bevel stuff and and make it look really cool so I'm going to use that and see how the how everything's kind of beveled then I go into colors and I change the brightness on a little bit I kind of bring out the the coloring a little I think that makes it look kind of cool okay and up here I'm just gonna do another text thing and I'm just gonna put DLs and let's do it in diamond blue huh yeah 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 okay and then let's uh, make it 30 let's make it 40 and click OK okay so I got the colors I want and I'm just gonna type in and then I can make this I can move this to wherever I want it um, and make it the size I want it so I'm just gonna oh I'm gonna highlight the letters then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just increase the size and I want it to be sans bold so I'm gonna space and oh there we go and I can drag it over and up a little bit if I want and then I'm just gonna go up to script view and I'm gonna give it a little beveled look and then I'm gonna change the color just a little bit brightness there we go I like that and that's it so um, that's how I created that and then I just go to file and I export it I don't save it I export this and you want to export it as a PNG and let's call it uh, DL deals okay and it's going to export it to in the environment So let's minimize this and go back. And why did it go? Huh. Didn't go to where I thought it was going to go, guys. I think it said it went to environment. Yeah. So I'm going to cut that out of there. Then I'm going to paste it back in GUI. Title. Okay. And then you can see DL's edition up here. Now the other thing that I want to show you guys is you know the Minecraft that, that boots up? In fact, let me boot it up and show you. Okay, so you guys can see this Minecraft right here. Um that is a, a, a really um a really weird file. And I'll show this to you, but just keep that in the back of your mind. In fact, I'm gonna keep that open. And we'll come back to that because I want to show you what that looks like. 
the, in, in the file that you're going to want to edit if you want to make something like what I made, like this right here, with this instead of this and this, um, the file is broken up. This word is broken up, and it's and in order to get it to come across and spell right and be lined up right, you have to put it in like this right here. I'll show you the file right now. So you guys can see how this looks. This Minecraft right here is actually this file right here. If if whatever you are creating doesn't follow the exact lines, see these squares? You have to count off the squares exactly like it is on the screen here. If you don't put your graphics, whatever you want to put in here instead of Minecraft, if you don't break it up just like this with the amount of squares that it shows, if you don't do it exactly like that, it will not come out like this. And so that's that was hard because I had to, it took hours for me to get mine to come out right. Let me show you, uh, let me show you my file for that. So guys, this is what mine looks like right here. If I if I followed any other pattern than this, mine would not have come out looking like it did with everything intact. So when you go in to change this file up here, when you go in to modify this, you have to follow the exact number of squares, the exact pattern that this is. Not the exact pattern, but the exact area that it covers and you have to you have to do yours exactly like that in order for it to get to come out uh, in order to get it to come out right so that's something that i'd have to help you with i think or mom and dad but um anyway it was fun to to work on and and get to to work out and, and mine did it mine came out just just like i wanted it to so um we'll go back and take a look at it again before we before we uh leave here so um that's that's it for these things remember the opening background guys when it first opens up and it and it has this panoramic view and it goes from one to another to another you can put your own photographs in here you can put your own graphics in here and make it um do what you want it to instead of this default uh, panoramic view you can you can put your own stuff in that background in the title so uh again just so much that you can do um and you just have to play with it it gets really frustrating but guys where it really comes what really comes in handy is when you know how to work paint.net paint.net and you're really familiar with it that's when all of this editing is going to come out a lot easier but you it's, it takes hours of messing with this stuff and the reason it comes easier for me now is because i've already gone through it with paintbrush i've gone through it with photoshop a little bit and i've gone through it with gimp i've spent hours and hours and hours in gimp and because paint.net is based off gimp it's easy for me to go into paint.net and um, make everything happen away see how i made it come across here and line up just right and you can see where i got the e too close to the end and i cut off part of the end right but i just want to do this to show you guys that you can do it and again here's that splash remember that dl's uh addition right there right there see that okay that's it and this is um and this up here gmg minecraft that's this right here so you guys can see how it all came out so Anyway, I just wanted to show this stuff to you guys. And um, remember I was telling you about the background, how I did these little uh, these little things. Um, this right here. Watch this. See, that's them right there. They're all just little squares all attached to each other. And they just create this big screen. But there's just a ton of these. Probably a hundred of them anyway, huh? so uh, that's how you do that so anyway guys i hope that helps and i hope um i hope that
kind of gives you a little bit of information as to how to edit. Um, it's going to take a long time. And like I said, the most important thing is learnpaint.net. You have to know that thing inside and out. You're going to spend hours doing that. Because, guys, Peanut, you know how you love graphics, Peanut? That's how you create your graphics is with stuff like this. Now, like I said, I use GIMP because you guys saw how he did that beveled look. That's what I love about GIMP. If you guys are going to spend a lot of time on graphics, I would suggest that you download GIMP. It's free, and um, it's just a, there's my Shopee dog. Um, it's free, and um, for what you get, it's amazing that it's free because you get so much. In fact, a lot of GIMP stuff is based off Photoshop stuff. So, and Peanut, your mom knows a lot about Photoshop. So, um, anyway... There you go, guys. I hope that helps. Be sure and let me know if I can help you with anything else. Some of the stuff might not be clear. Make a note of it. Anything you're having a problem with, make a note of it and let me know so I can uh, do a little more video on it or, or explain it to you on Skype or something. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you later.